we get ready for the World Cup semi-finals, now we're going to look at Leslie Osborne's top five contenders for the Golden Ball awarded to the best player at the tournament. Give us your contenders. All right, let's do this. Here's my top eight. Number five was a tough decision for me, but I am going to go with Black Stinius from Sweden. This is a player coming to the World Cup that was actually on a scoring drought for Sweden. She's come up huge, though, with two goals in their last two games against Canada and Germany, and she's going to have to stay in form for Sweden to execute their transition game, and she's doing a fantastic job and needs to keep it up. I like your choice, but I'm going to give the edge to Aslani here for Sweden. I think she's been the heartbeat of the team. She's that creative outlet that gets them to that transition. They're always looking for her, and she's on two goals and assists, so I just give her the edge. All right. Maybe from Christy. Okay, yeah. give us number four. All right, number four, Mitama, player that I highlighted in the Netherlands attack. She's so good. She's only 22, plays for Arsenal, has three goals this tournament. Incredibly dangerous in the box. Composed, she can score with any part of her body. And very, very clinical player. Agree, she has been clinical, but I'm going to go a little defensive here with Spitza. I think she's been sitting in the number six, breaking up play. She starts their build from the back. And on the opposite side, on the offensive third, she has been delivering so many great set pieces, and she's got four assists on that. So I'm going to go with Spitza here. Oh, disagreeing again. OK, Leslie, third pick. <laughs> All right, number three, Ellen White. This is a player with five goals who is thriving under head coach Phil Neville. Incredibly composed, clinical in the 18. She can be quiet at times, but so big for this English side and in peak form and needs to continue that against the U.S. on Tuesday. It's just no argument for another uh, player like Ellen White, <laughs> England player. Let, let's go for your number two pick. All right, number two, one of my favorite players, Lucy Bronze. Yes, she is a defender. She does have a goal <laughs> and three assists. This is a player that's so dangerous on both sides of the, sides of the ball. She owns that right flank. She can play make, she can score big time goals outside of the box. She's fast, she's strong, she's got every tool out there and could really play any position on the field. And I think is a big catalyst to this English attack. Christy's into this one. I agree with you, Les, 100%. I think best back right in the world. Um, do an amazing job on the attack and the defense. Giving some defenders love, I love it. Yes, I am. Okay, number one, let me guess. Woo! It is Megan Rapino. <laughs> That's right. Megan Rapino is so big time for this U.S. team. She's the heartbeat, she's the leader, she's the captain. Big time players step up in big time moments, and that is what Megan Rapino is doing, especially in the knockout stages. She's a free kick specialist. She's so dangerous and creative on the outside, and this team is thriving off of her. And she is another player who's going to have to continue this, this team on Tuesday against England. All right, I'm going to give you your moment. Then at five and four, I think you were slightly unsure about. What about across the board? How do you feel? Across the board, I, I do like it. You know, You're swapping anyway. No, I mean it would kind of go with Spitza in there, but I do agree. You know, on the attacking side, these five players have been phenomenal throughout this tournament, and Megan Rapino, you know, has to be number one because her energy is so contagious, and the team feeds off of her, and she's been showing it and proving it, and the girls are following her, so love that. Two England players in there as well. Thanks, Leslie. <laughs>